Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. We're here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress 2018. And it's not sunny in Barcelona, it's cold, wet and snowing. We're much better off in here, I can tell you. And I'm happy to be able to be talking to Angelo Logothetis, who is Vice President, Amdocs Open Network CTO, Amdocs, of course. Angelo, welcome, thanks for talking to us. Thanks very much, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here today at MWC with you. It's quite noisy. Uh, it's very busy. We'll pitch our voices up a little bit and we'll go for it. Let's start with this. Amdocs has just announced a new solution. It's the Autonomous Service Assurance Solution. Can you tell us what that means and what it does? We're very pleased to be at MWC this year launching Amdocs Autonomous Service Assurance. It's the industry's first platform, ecosystem and services offering designed to evolve the service provider from the manual, network-centric, reactive processes of assurance and operations today into the service-centric, autonomous, proactive processes of the network of the future. Right, there are other service assurances out there, various, various solutions of various sorts. What's unique about this one? What makes the Amdoc solution different? There's a couple of things. Um, the first thing is we start by defining the intent of the network and the intent of the service right up front at the stage that people are thinking about launching the network and launching the service out to market. That, that's very new. At the same time that we define the intent, we define the procedures and the policies that will keep the network and the service working in an always green state to deliver that intent. That's difference number one. Difference number two is the very instant that the service and the network goes live, we start to monitor and assure that network and service. And we use some really interesting technology that can actually natively monitor the service and tell you what the true customer experience is rather than just the network experience. The third thing that is different is we use human guided automation. We start to support the operations people in how to operate the networks and services of today and importantly, how to start to operate these new networks and services that are coming with SDN and NFV that have never been seen before and people don't quite know how they're going to behave or what they're going to have to do to operate them. And then the final thing is, we turn that into autonomous operations. It's all about how do you automate the operations of both the networks and services today, but prepare for the networks and services of tomorrow where the entire business case has to be autonomous for them to work. Great answer, thank you. Final one. Do you think in general, Angela, that network organizations feel comfortable about moving to autonomous service assurance at this point? And if so, why? So the first thing I would say around that is, I think everybody shares this vision of the future around autonomous operations. People recognize that that's the future state and that's going to enable a service provider to become a digital service provider. So the shared mindset and vision around it. But people are questioning, where do I start and how do I go about this? So the first thing is, it is a journey. People aren't going to switch from the manual operations of today to the autonomous operations of the future overnight. And so I think part of the journey is making those people comfortable with it. The second part of it is empowering the people of today to move into that future world. So it's moving the operations guys who, move for, who are largely working in a, a predefined, fairly rigid state of operations today, enabling them to become dev operations people where they take the ownership and the power about defining how they're going to work in the future and bit by bit they build up that knowledge and that capability and go on the journey to autonomous. Excellent. Angela Logothetis, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, you're very welcome. Nice talking to you, Martin.